Welcome back to another Geghead painting session. I am your painter and host, Mr. Freddie Prince Jr. And sorry, I can't take myself very seriously. Um, we're painting some minis for a new TTRPG that I wrote called Asphalt and Augments. And if you saw the first episode, which was an hour of flesh, which sounds great, right? On a title, but... Uh, you know, I just wanted to make sure I got it right. So today we won't take as long, I assure you. And you can see that I've done a little work since the last time we saw it. We've got not only flesh, but the helmeted head, the chest the chest piece, which I'm going to use a shiny varnish for after I matte coat them um, to make them really kind of like shine out and look like a plastic polymer. We did the championship belt with some gold and um, also with a little uh, snake bite leather on the contrast. We got the shorts. We did most of the armor on the legs with some more of what's gonna be polymer plating here on the back calf and here up on the front. And so today I thought we would do WWE style, um, the jewels in the big gold belt. So we're gonna use a little bit of red for that. And then uh, we'll work on the legs a little bit as well. And I'm also going to make it quiet. Just a regular, uh, regular black from, uh, voila, game color. We're going to use a little bit of a mixture of these three reds from War Paint and from game color and this will be our black that we try to match this to the legs to I don't know if you can see those but they're there and yeah and these are my little paint brushes that we're going to use today I think this will be the brush no I think this may be the brush of choice I don't know it's going to be tough but let's do the jewels first welcome to Gaghead Paints ba, 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 ba. So like I mentioned in the first video that we watched, um, these are all going to be characters from a fight club that takes place in Chinatown just off of downtown in what was formerly Los Angeles. I need my magnifying glasses because I am 46 years old. <laughs> all right, there we go. Oh, lovely. I can actually see. And hopefully you can too. Yeah, I think so. And the good thing with this gold is that uh, when I mess up a little bit, which I certainly will, as I already have, um, I can just go over it. I should have used the toothpick for this. I think I might. Where's the toothpick? Bring out the pick. Let's see if this works a little better. This is, this is what I used for pupils. Yeah, that's way better. I should have just done that for the first one and I wouldn't have had to paint over it again. You live and you learn. You paint and you learn. That's a better one than the, the first one. Yeah, I just need to fill those and then very delicately paint over with gold. But I want to get a little more, a richer red in there. I love all the sparkle in the gold. All right, those are filled in pretty well. Maybe one more time. Shout out to John Lee Brody on the ones and twos. Shout out to Alexis on the threes and fours. The jewelry is complete. 
So what I'm hoping, game-wise, is these characters are going to go to a pretty much like the hottest nightclub in Los Angeles. And uh, the city of no more angels. And it's basically a super club. And it's, a t it's only two levels, but imagine if like the 70s existed in the year 2066. That's basically the vibe there. And we call it the Electric Sheep in honor of Philip K. Dick. And uh, if you know the movie Blade Runner, then you should know the book, uh, Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep? And if you don't, you should watch it or read it or do both. All right, that's where the black wants to go is over that sort of like, it's not a buckle, but it's just like a, a more mobile piece of armor. You know what I mean? So it can like move a little bit over that ankle joint. So we're gonna do that black. We're gonna do this kneecap black. And then I wanna get silver in here. I don't know, maybe I'll do this too as the black. That might look cool, but we're gonna start here anyway. Did I wait too long? Did my paint dry on me? Here we go. Ah, already messed up the foot. Why? Hi. Don't let all the blood rush to your head. But I'm left-handed. to fix the foot. And I use the tan flesh to uh, to get the feet and, and skin, well, all the skin on the body. So I'll just hit it again with that. Yeah, I feel like if we do all this black, then I can do the gun metal on the other, on the other part. This is where the black wants to go. I pre-planned a paint job and I freestyled a paint job and I did way better on the freestyle. I see that little bump right there. Oh, come on. Oh, that was a pretty clean line. Shoot, so was that. So you can see what we're doing here. Coming up and around here, and then we'll silver out this area back here. I think I'm gonna go black with that too. And then I'll silver out around the Achilles tendon and that like ball bearing that he has on the heel of his foot. Yeah, I think I like that. Missed a little piece right there. Got gotcha. you. Everyone else who uses these glasses when they mini paint, please comment in the in the comment section how frustrating how frustrating it is to look from your miniature to the paint and trying to get your brush in between the two when you wear these glasses. Or am I just a rookie? Or both? So the vibe of the game is going to be very sort of synth wave, cyberpunk meets street outlaws, and the street outlaws get mixed up in a crazy corporate story. Um, so it'll be very, yeah, you'll get vibes of cybernetic upgrades and car upgrades, Mopar and futuristic versions of Mopar. So there'll be a little bit in there for everybody, the old school and the new school. silver there I just need to fill this bit in probably need paint to do that yeah paint would help so this guy he was a freestyle he wasn't a pre-plan and I like him more I'll show you the pre-plan on another stream, but he didn't turn out as well as I'd liked him to. 
would have liked him to. This painting is a race against the sun. You'll see why in about five minutes. This is what I'm talking about. With the glasses, and I'm going from miniature to paint, it looks like I'm getting the paint, the paintbrush into the paint, and it's coming back with no paint on it. Do you see what I'm saying? not too bad so now if we go up with it here's the thing it's like there's a cool little difference in the marks here I don't know man I think if I go silver up to there black I don't know what do you guys think that for sure is going to be all silver so this can be so then all right, I'll let that dictate it okay Uh, sorry, dude. Get up on your feet. Ooh, I almost got that perfect. Dang it. We didn't mess up, but I thought the line would have been a little th thicker. upside down again sorry I know you don't like it I know I know we're in this together bud you and me see and then we got a clean line for the silver yeah, we got a clean line right through here now I gotta come around with it One of the things I'm hoping, one of the cool things I'm hoping actually comes to fruition is because it's just at its heart, it's a street racing RPG just happens to have some crazy stories, but there's going to be races every game. Um, I'm hoping to run multiple groups because you can rep different parts of the, of the city, right? Or different cities entirely. You could rep Bakersfield, you know, and then the next week it's four different players repping Santa Monica and then all of a sudden we can like kind of go online with it and say hey do you, what crews do you want to see race each other and then i could run a sick eight eight person game and uh and we could have everybody street racing each other to see who has the best car so those are the kind of things i'm excited about i'm hoping that it feels new and fresh i'm hoping no one else has already done this and if you have right on but just know i didn't steal it from you and if you want to steal from me right on, you can go do a, a street race thing. I'll be mad at you. You don't even have to shout me out. You might see this video and be like, yo, before he airs the episode, let's do our own. Which isn't cool, but you know, whatever. Guy looks like a pro wrestler for sure. Speaking of pro wrestling, you can catch my podcast, What? Wrestling with Freddy, part of the Mi Cultura Network. Talk about the time I worked for the WWE. No lie. And it was awesome. Crazy. 
for sure couldn't do it again, but awesome. That's not even as shiny as it's going to be. I can mess with that straight up. All right, let's get this other leg. Because I'm back in black. Okay, we're going to start high. so jacked man I wish I could get this buff just once it's confessional time when I was growing up always wanted to be just as buff as you could get right probably because I knew I could never get I also wanted to be Asian when every other kid from my generation wanted to be black in the 90s when gangster rap took over <laughs> and I know a few of you are thinking, Freddie, a couple of those look like muscles. And I agree, and I think they are. But it just looks weird to me to have that much muscle under the short leg because then his calves feel extra long to me and uh and then it's like he's wearing john stockton shorty shorts and my guys aren't trying to go out like that so that's why i'm trying to sell you on the armor thing but i feel your beef i feel it that sounded gross <laughs> Kicking booty, Freddie Prince. Come on, baby. This is how you know it's actually me painting these and not just my voice in post. Because you can see the amateurism. Like, why would I get someone else to do it if they were this noob at it? You see what I'm saying? Why would I do that? to go I mean I was willing to go all the way there I think we're gonna do it this guy's gonna be armored up I dare someone to try to hit my man with a leg kick I dare you if you got a death wish go ahead bro or chick you step in the squared circle with trigger you done still working on the names but Trigger's got to be in there and he's got to sound like he's from Newport Beach oh I thought I had that smooth and I missed it completely how am I going to get it in this little nook here we go there we go come on baby any paint should get and I saw them on, on uh, online was uh, these little like clamp stands that you can put your minis in 
so that you're not uh, having to hold them with unsteady hands. You know what I'm saying? Invest in one of those. What are they probably like 30, 40 bucks? I promise you this. The next video we put out, these dudes are gonna be in the stand <laughs> straight up. By the way, these little magnifying glasses with the light on them. I love them. Then they have a bunch of different lenses too. I might even step my lens game up and try to make things bigger. So I'm getting old. This one I think will be best from underneath so you can't see, but I promise it's still me. You're lucky I can't do it anyway. There we go. We're getting there. We're getting there. people Let's see here. gun metal through there through there that'll clean that line up and then on this guy that's gonna be a tricky little part right behind that calf gun metal there gun metal there and the jewels they're not quite sparkling the way I'd hoped Try to add one other red to it. Let's see. Let's see if we can't get lucky. John, what's our time at? Say again. Thank you, sir. to the mix. We're going to see what happens. I also have a glistening blood that I could put on there. Maybe maybe we're just missing the glisten. People don't have to know that it's glistening blood. We'll say it's glistening ruby. But first... Uh, not that you need a, a contrast for something that small, but I just want to see something. Ooh, we never even opened this. I don't know if that's going to be right. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see if you're a blood angel. Time smudgerooski. Now I'm bummed out. Let's see what I can do. Let's save my gold. Okay, 
saved it a little. And it's a deeper red. I just have to be more careful. It's for sure a better red than the others. Or at least in combination with them it is. All right, we'll stick with it. I like that better. Let's see if I can do it with the brush. are like too cartoony I think when those dry and when I clean up the gold around it I think that'll be way better I want to blow on it so bad but the mic's right by my mouth <laughs> Good news is the gold is so easy to paint with and it's so overpowering as far as the colors go that uh, once I paint it kind of around those holes it's gonna look very nice all right thanks blood angels for saving the day I need my gun metal I need my gun metal So I add about three drops of water to each of these, sometimes more. But I've done a lot of gunmetal, so I kind of I like the consistency I get with three drops. Most people will say do six, five or six, and layer up. But I found a consistency that I like with this guy. with this one even though I make mistakes with it it just feels better in my hand you gotta fix his toes I love this gun. Out of all the paints I've used so far, I love the way this one looks. It's unassuming, and then when it dries, it just pops. I love that it looks like he just has a giant ball bearing on the back of his foot. Catch that spinning heel kick, and that's a wrap, son. That's a wrap. 
All right, here's the impossible challenge coming up, but we're gonna do it. The impossible challenge. Build your confidence up, Freddy. Oh, also, I haven't really found a color or color combination yet that looks like something's lighting up green or lighting up red. Um, I want it to look kind of like neon-y or, or like there's a strong radiant light behind it. You know what I mean? I'll show you an example. This guy. I want this to register much more like something's glowing in his chest you know what I mean like Tony Stark has a heart that kind of vibe so any suggestions are more than welcome please help supposed to get back here. Uh, yeah, that's going to have to be a... Well, that was not as bad as I thought, but we're still going to have to retouch the skin back there. But we had to anyway. Oh, Freddy, don't forget those buckle straps back there. All right. That leg... We got pretty good. We have a mistake here we have to correct. We have a little mistake here we need to correct. We got that line pretty good. I'm just going to try to touch this guy a little bit more. That sounded creepy. You know what I mean. This guy's going to be his. They're all going to have like different styles. And this guy's going to be Muay Thai. So you have to deal with these legs as a player. You better take him down quick. One of my character classes, it's like a subclass of a fighter class, is called the Street Samurai. And uh, like I said, I've always been obsessed with this culture. But, um,. There are actual techniques that your character can download, like Neo, and practice. And they're all from a real um, katana expert in Japan named Tenshin. And so it's all the tension and then whatever the technique is in Japan. And then you describe the attack. So some are for closed quarters, some are for a wider setting as far as like your, your sword techniques, your katana blade techniques, things like that. And you can actually walk around with a katana blade like like hero protagonist in uh, Snow Crash. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, um, do yourself a favor and read that book. Pretty cool book. I think we got that pretty good. I don't want to overdo it. Let's get the ball bearing. It's all ball bearings these days, boys. What movie is that from? So we'll get it. Ball bearings. The hell you need with ball bearings? Oh, come on. It's all ball bearings these days. John, you know it? No one does. 
All right, you guys got 10 seconds and then I'll tell you. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Fletch, Chevy Chase in Fletch. Congrats to all our winners today. And to the losers, better luck. What? Better luck next time, Saint. I was about to say better luck next time. I might be a Celestic. Wait, what? Outside of the mistakes, which we will correct, because I want those ball bearings looking clean and shiny. Um, besides that, I think we're almost done here, and I gotta do those buckles. You guys check out Trig. His mom named him Trigger, we call him, we call him Trig. What do you think? Super buff, right? Big gold belt. We'll clean that up. Around the edges there, that bleeding we had. A couple other little nooks, you know, we could fill some flesh in right there. It looks like I left a little, you can see primer. And then once we shine him up, man, look at these, come on. These are some handsome devils. This will be our last guy that we do. He looks awesome too. Oh, and check this out. Oh, I don't know how to do this. So if anyone has any suggestions on his goggles here, right? I want to do a digital readout and I want it to say, or I want it to read since it doesn't speak, it can't say anything. I want it to read KO, like you just got knocked out. Um, so I'm thinking toothpick and just barely go down because I'm afraid if I do a brush, it might be too shaky. But if I pixelate it, like just pop, 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 um, like Sistine Chapel style, I could get the line of dots K and then the circle for the O. What do you guys think? If you have suggestions, hit us up in there. Or hit me on social media. Uh, it's real FPJR on Twitter. Um, I post a lot of the photos of my miniatures on Instagram, and that's uh, at Real Freddy Prince. I think it's at Real Freddy Friends. If not, you'll find it. Um, and uh, make sure you guys subscribe and like to the videos. Thank you guys for hanging with us. And stay tuned for the actual TTRPG of Asphalt and Augments. Or as we lovingly call it here at Gaghead, Ass and Augs. I'm Freddy Prince Jr. Peace.